Ryan, you ready to give it a go? You guys know each other? Yeah, yeah, we met at the bar earlier while you were napping. This is Macy, she's one of the ski instructors here. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Sarah, likewise. Duncan says your regular's here. Oh. She's more of a regular on the slopes. I'm a regular at the bar. Oh. <laughs> well, it's nice meeting you. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, you know me. I'm a people person. Hey, I do know you. I trust you, which is why I said yes. Just, come on, I'm still getting past what happened. Look, I asked you to marry me. That should be proof enough that you're all I need. Hey, Duncan, can I grab you a sec? Yeah, sure. Hey, go ahead and head down. I'll meet you there. What do we got? 32 year old female, ski accident. Left knee's a mess. Tore everything. That looks no good. Wow, let's get her MR up on the monitor, please. Uh, head and C spine clear? Yep, all clear. Right. Let's stabilize the feet. And then we're going to reconstruct. Scissors. Okay. Mask. All right, here. Excuse me. Come on, let me get in here, please. Oh, this looks like severe internal hemorrhaging. I can stop this. Hurry, quickly. I can save the leg. Pressure's holding steady at 125 over Scalpel. 7. Heart rate good at 82. Wait, her pressure's dropping. 100 over 60, 90 over 50. Gary, she's crashing. What's going on? Uh, I think a bone grab nicked an artery or something. Suction. Come on, let's keep this clear. Guys, let's go. Should I play vascular? You can, but it doesn't matter. I can't wait. Hey, systole, she's flatlining. Start CPR, bagger, one milligram. Hold on, Ephraim. Hold on. Nurse, prep for V-fib. Let's go. Okay, okay. Gary. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Pulse is stabilizing. You did it. That was freaking close. <sighs> Solid work finding that hole in a sea of blood. So should we amputate below the knee? Vascular's not here yet. Seems like a straightforward operation. I didn't do all that work to cut off her leg. I don't know how you did that. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than it is good. <laughs> that wasn't luck. Hey, uh, uh, what can you tell me about Sarah Crenshaw? And who's here for her? Family? No, but her family has been notified, though. Okay. Uh, what about her fiancé? No fiancé. We've been looking, but we haven't found him yet.
Is there anything else I can help you with, Doctor? No. <laughs> Thank you. I brought you some magazines from the lounge. Oh, yes, please. There's only so much daytime television I can watch. Well, I don't know if those are going to be much better for you. Oh, <laughs> take it over another courtroom show. Fair enough. How you feeling? You know, like someone who just got hit by a car. Apart from the obvious, how are you feeling? Honestly, I don't remember the last time I've been in so much pain. Well, that is to be expected. The doctor will check on your progress and see if you can get a higher dose on your pain meds. It will get better. That's good to know. Thanks. Yeah. Speaking of which, here he is. Look who's awake. It isn't the rock star surgeon who saved my life. I'm really more of a jazz singer, you know? That's nice. I like jazz. I also like keeping both my legs. This is turning into your day, then. Yeah, I'd agree if I weren't in a hospital bed at the moment. She's also in a lot of pain. Can I upper morphine? What's your pain scale? <sighs> Eight. But if I say nine, can I get the good stuff? Milligrams. The good stuff. Well, I think the worst is behind you, but you're not out of the woods. You'll have a really nasty scar on your leg for a while. I'll gladly take it if I get to keep my legs. Honestly, I don't care if it's permanently blue as long as I get to walk again. Good attitude. Well, it looks good. I think a couple of days bed rest, and then we're going to start your physical therapy. Mm, can't wait. <laughs> Thank you for that. It's what we do. <laughs> Anything else, Doctor? No, I don't think so. I'll be back tomorrow to see you, okay? Sounds like a party. <laughs> I wish. Until then. He's being really modest. What do you mean? If there's a medical award, he's won it. He's mastered almost every procedure there is. Oh, wow. He really is a rock star. <laughs> or a jazz singer. <laughs> he's definitely something. <laughs> All right, there you go. I'm going to see if I can find you some newer magazines. Oh, thank you, nurse. Oh, please. Call me Farah. OK. Thank you, Farah. And not too shabby to look at, either. <laughs> Excuse me? Dr. Water? Yeah, as in tall, drink of. Ah, yes, I see. <laughs> you say so. What? You don't think so? Oh, he's hot. I don't know, he's my doctor. I'm Rosalind. You can call me Rosie. Mm. Nice to meet you, Rosie. Sarah. Oh, I heard. Uh, and it sounds like that our brilliant doctor went above and beyond for you. Let's hope he does the same for me, okay? What are you in for? Skydiving accident. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um. Double bypass. You? It's a gift from birth. So... Your first surgery? Yeah, other than uh, the wisdom teeth. <laughs> hey, do you mind if I borrow one of your magazines? Oh, yeah. yeah. Knock yourself out. Oh. <sighs> the morphine's finally kicking in. Oh, so. well, you'll feel better soon. Mm. Can you believe what Chloe's been up to? You know, I've actually been more focus on Kim. Oh. Okay.
Good morning, Rosalind. Please call me Rosie. Good morning, Rosie. Sure is. So, how am I doing? We have a few more labs to come in. I'm gonna know soon when we're gonna wheel you to the OR, okay? Okay. In the meantime, you're here. We're monitoring you and that high blood pressure of yours. Everything's gonna be great. Okay. Great news. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. You're welcome, Rosie. feeling? A little woozy. <laughs> That's to be expected. You're in a morphine cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not complaining. Yeah, only the best for our patients. Mm. <laughs> What's that? This is a plantar reflex test. Go just like this. Ooh, see? Now, if your big toe had gone up versus going down, that would have indicated a bit of nerve damage, but... You look good. It tickles. <laughs> That's good. I think we're going to start you in physical therapy today. Do I have to do anything? I'm afraid so. You're going to have to do quite a bit. Look, I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you. This is going to be an uphill climb. That sounds magical. It can't all be morphine and laughs. Oh, if only. <laughs> Indeed. <sighs> well, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> I'm gonna be on my way. Uh, you eat your breakfast, and I'll come back and speak to you after your physical therapy. Also known as boot camp. Yeah, something like that. I'm looking for Jay. Yeah, it's me. I'm Sarah. Oh, right. Skiing accident. Yeah, uh, that's going to be my nickname, I think, from now on. <laughs> that's quite a story. And if I have anything to say about it, you'll be out of that chair and back on the slopes by next year. Are you out of your mind? I'm not getting on skis again. Yeah, let's see how you feel about that this time next year. In the meantime, I'll just settle for getting you back on your feet. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a good plan. Good. Let's go over here. Got it. Yeah. Now, I've put together a really great plan. It's going to be rough at first. You're probably going to hate me a lot, but in the end, I really think you're going to like it. As long as it gets me walking again. It will, I guarantee it. So where do we start? We start with stretches. Oh, easy. We don't want to make your injury worse. Nice and slow. Ready? Up. There you go. And slow. Ready? Down. There you go. Breathe. There you go. Good. Let's stretch your legs out. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now just deep breath. All right. You ready to get started? Welcome. I know it doesn't seem like it now, but it will get easier. In pain? Pain is good. It tells everybody that it's working. Well, then, my body should be getting paid over time. Really, though, I don't... Whew, I don't know if I can do this again tomorrow. Sometimes I like my clients to create specific goals. Right? So what's the one place in the world that you want to go skiing? I already told you I'm not going skiing again. At least for a while. Maybe. But you seem like you're a lot like me. You don't give up easily. 
Fine. I've always wanted to go to the Swiss Alps. All right, well, one day, sooner than you think, you're gonna send me a postcard from there. <laughs> Doesn't really seem like it. I know, but it will. It did really well today. All right, tomorrow will be better. <laughs> How are you feeling now? Uh, still in pain, but surprisingly better at the same time. It's all part of my master plan. Whatever gets me out of here fastest. Everything okay? Yeah, I had a, I had a hairbrush and I don't know where it went. Well, I'm sure it'll show up. I can get you another hairbrush if you want. Mm -hmm. A hospital brush is more like a torture device. Anyway, um, thank you for the lift. You got it. See you tomorrow. Mm, I was afraid you would say that. You know, I'm gonna get you on skis before you know it. You are a kind but evil man. Call me a dreamer. Vincent, what's the good word? I was gonna ask you that. You had a PT session today with uh, Jack, right? Yeah, I think his name is Jake. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, what did you think? I think that it was a lot easier learning how to walk the first time around. <laughs> you may be right. <laughs> Speaking of walking, actually, mm -hmm. I want to get a fresh set of x-rays so I can get a really good look at that leg, all right? You bet. I mean, anything that you need to do, I'm, I'm in. Excellent. <clears throat> I will have Farah schedule you the next appointment, okay? Okay. Thanks, Dr. Vincent. Oh, call me Gary. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Gary. Until then. Okay, good, good. Let's do a few more reps. Nice. There you go. Good. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Hey, what's this big brother watching? Oh, uh, you know, he's everywhere. All right, let's flip you around for the next set. Ready. Up, up you go. Up you go. Okay. Okay. Stable. Okay. My favorite part. <gasps> Ooh, uh, oh, are oh, you okay? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, just an injury that likes to flare up every now and then. Oh. And a torn distal bicep tendon? Dr. Vincent. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just heard of playing baseball. You look like you're in a lot of pain. I can write you a prescription if you'd like. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. So, uh, what brings you in? I'm just checking in. Well, Sarah's doing really well. That's great. Listen, I'm gonna sit and watch, Sarah, if that's okay. I wanna make sure Jake and I are on the same page. Yeah, okay, sure. You're the doctor. Excellent. <laughs> Just checking emails here. started watching us. Watching you do what? Like, my exercises and my stretches and stuff. Well, he just sat there and watched you work out? I don't know, is that kind of awkward? I mean, I don't know. I guess it's good he actually cares about your progress, but I never had a doctor do that to me. Right? Well, not that I wouldn't mind. Well, no, no, because I don't mind it really, it's just... <laughs> Doctors are strange, honey. All of them. I think it's that that God complex that they have. No, no, no. Yeah. Sure. So, do you want to watch some court TV? Hmm. No, you go ahead. I'm gonna. Oh. I'm gonna try to find a book to read. That's
get you up there, huh? How are your meds? They're doing the trick. How do you feel? I, I thought I'd be in less pain by now. You're essentially learning to walk on a leg that was almost completely destroyed, right? I know the pain is horrible, but uh, it's better than not having a leg. I mean, I'm gonna get out of here soon, right? Define soon. Like before withdrawing Social Security? Look, I know it's uh, true we can only keep you so long, but you're not out of the woods yet, okay? You need to continue to exercise. I mean, the slightest accident would put you back to square one, and you could barely move. But that's not gonna change by me being here. I mean, I need to get back to my real life. I want that too, in time. Okay. So what's next? What's next is we keep you in physical therapy. We monitor the wound, make sure it's healing properly, and then we get you back to your regular life when it's safe to do so. Mm -hmm. I just kind of want to get out of here. No lasting problems. Yes. Okay. There you go. Let's do four more steps. Can we make it three? Four more. There you go. Doing great. You got it. This is great. You're doing well. There you go. What's your favorite thing about skiing? I don't know. It's my happy place. <laughs> Can't check your phone for work emails when you're skiing the mountain. <sighs> Just you, and the snow, and the wind in my face. Doing great. Wait, where are you? It's all you, Sarah. <gasps> oh my god! You're doing it! <laughs> oh my yeah! God. I'm doing it! Yeah! Oh, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I am, oh, oh. I, I'm so sorry. I, it's okay. I just, um... I understand. I feel the same way. Well, it's just we gotta be careful, because it kind of breaks the rules. I know, it's just, um, it, we need to talk about it. Technically, Dr. Vincent said that I'd be released when I started walking. And now I'm walking. You'll be released soon. So we could talk about it then. And then we'll, uh, you know, figure out what this is. I mean, if it's anything at all. Well, I think we both know that it's something. Let's take you back. Okay, yeah. Pick you up. Ah, just a friend from work. Good. Send me an email or something, will you? Let me know that you got home okay. Mm. Of course. I kissed Jake. You what? You heard me. Well, this is how you're gonna leave me? I knew you would love it. Uh, of course! <laughs> okay, what happened? How do you know that it's more than just a crush? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Hmm. You gonna pursue it? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, he's helping you heal. Is that going to be a problem? I mean, I, I guess we'll find out. OK. Well. <laughs> knock, knock. I believe it's time for Zoe's release. Oh, are you here to take me home? <laughs> Sorry, Rosie, but I'm afraid Sarah gets her walking papers. Oh, ouch. OK. Always mm. a bridesmaid, never a bride. <laughs> Come here, you. Mm. So you're ready to get back into the real world? Oh, you have no idea. Oh, there's your purse. Thank you. All right.
Steven. Sarah, just checking in for an update on the website. Oh, uh, yeah, just give me until Monday, okay? I'm getting back up to speed here. Did Megan do the THD report yet? Yes, I'll have her forward it to you. But let me warn you, it still needs some work. How much work? More than you're gonna want to do, but it's necessary. And we need <sighs> it by Monday at the latest. And there's nobody else available to work on it, huh? No. All due respect, Sarah, we weren't staffed or prepared to lose you for a month. Whoa, trust me, I wasn't prepared for it either. You know what I mean. We, we all want to well, I've got if getting it on time and under budget. If I can get the copy done on Monday, then we can get the promo out on Tuesday. And the website? Yeah, uh, that too. Um, uh, give me until Tuesday. Sarah. Steven, I'm gonna need the extra day. Fine, Tuesday then. What's the news on coming back to the office? I'm uh, not really sure yet. My doctor says it's gonna be a while before I can physically get back to work. I can deal with that as long as the work gets done. And Tuesday at the latest on the website, right? Yes, Tuesday the latest. Okay, get it done. Sarah! Oh, Dr. Vincent! Startled me. Please. Call me Gary, remember? Dr. Gary. It looks like you're almost walking without your crutches. Yeah, almost. Hey, listen, uh, while I've got you, I want you to make an appointment with me, okay? I want to look at that wound, and then we should go over your latest x-rays. Great. I'll come on in. Okay. Hey, um, can I ask you something that's a little sensitive? What's wrong? It's about Jake. He's known around the hospital for getting involved with nurses and patients. What? Well, I'm not naming names, but... The latest was a nurse. The hospital got sued. Are you serious? Yeah. He hasn't made any unwanted advances towards you, has he? No, no. I mean, um, no, he hasn't at all. He's, he's been great. You know, if he has, you shouldn't protect him. I'm not protecting him. He hasn't been inappropriate. Good. As your doctor, I'm here to help you with anything. Thank you. See you then. All right, you're getting better every day. Why do I still feel terrible? That's part of a process. Some days will be easier than the others. Great. Hey, can you take a picture for me? Don't. Oh. Six weeks ago, I was laid up in a hospital bed. I just want to show off a little. I think it'll help me feel better. Is this cracking your phone from the accident? Yeah. Guess I broke everything. Thank you. Hey, I was thinking, do you want to come over tonight? We still need to talk about stuff. Um, I have baseball tonight. Can we uh, meet tomorrow? No. Yeah. Tomorrow then. Okay. Falco brings you in. Please, call me Gary. Okay, what can I do for you, Gary? It's about Sarah. Would it be possible to get a copy of her file? I want to make sure everything's going just as it should. Yeah, of course. Oh, you want it now? If it's not too much trouble. I gotta make copies of it. Can I just get it to you tomorrow? I thought I left my bag here. And that's Sarah's bag? Yes, it is. Well, good afternoon. Afternoon, Doctor. You know, I'll get that file tomorrow. Thanks.
right. Hot stuff coming through. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> ah, thank you for cooking. Yeah, I enjoy cooking. Plus, I thought it might impress you. Oh, he might be right. <laughs> so, uh, how are you feeling? I'm actually feeling a lot better right now. I'm, like, in a lot of less pain. Good. Before you know it, you'll be swooshing down the mountain. Funny. To see. <laughs> hey, so can we have, um, can we ever talk now? Yeah, sure. Listen, Sarah, I want you to be assured that what happened was not a mistake. And I... Actually, before we have this conversation, um, can I just ask you something? Yeah. I was told that you hadn't, is it true? Yeah, I mean, it happened once. How long ago was it? Um, almost two years. Um, and why did it end? Well, I mean, we only dated for, you know, went out a couple times. It wasn't anything serious. I was told that she sued the hospital. Yeah, she did. Um, but not because of me or her and I dating for a month. She was in the midst of filing a lawsuit. I mean, that was even before we started seeing each other. Yeah. She got hurt in the OR, and the hospital refused to pay up. I see. Listen, I know you might have a hard time trusting me. I just can't get hurt again, especially after all this. Well, I have nothing to hide. Okay, I'm an open book with you, Sarah. Yeah, I've made mistakes in the past, but I make up for my mistakes. I'm sorry, I just... I wasn't planning on all this. I just, like, I wasn't looking for this. You're looking for what? Um, I wasn't looking... I was just trying to learn how to walk, and now all of a sudden I'm potentially getting into another relationship, and I just want to make sure that what you and I both feel is real. And it's not just me feeling this way because I'm being vulnerable right now. Well, I know how I feel. And how I feel is real. Yeah, me too. And I just want to see where this goes. You know, you're that important to me, and I hope you know that. I do. just keeps piling so much stuff on you. It's how you just trying to get better. Mm, there's no one else to do it. You know what? It's a long weekend. Why don't, why don't we get away? Get out of town and really enjoy our first official weekend as a couple. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where? I don't know. Nothing too strenuous. Um, how about a weekend at my cabin? You look at it? Yeah. Well, it's nothing luxurious or anything like that. But yeah, it's got a couple rooms and a lovely little fireplace. Better yet, no stairs. It's on even terrain. <laughs> oh, um, I'm supposed to have an appointment with Dr. Vincent, though, on Monday, though. You mean Gary? Is it me, or is it so weird to call him by his first name? It's totally weird. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm going to see if I can reschedule. This is Dr. Vincent. Dr. Vincent, I wasn't expecting to get you on the phone. I, uh, had my office forward all my calls to my cell phone. I'm, I'm expecting a call, you see. Oh, I'm sorry to disturb you. It's, it's, it's not a problem. Uh, what can I do for you? I know it's last minute, but I was just wondering if maybe we can reschedule our appointment for Monday. Is everything okay? Yeah, I was just 
planning on getting out of town for the long weekend. Where are you going? Uh, get into a cabin for the weekend. You're going camping? No, no. Just a little getaway. Listen. I have to advise against this. Okay, you're not completely healed. If you were to trip, or, or, or worse, break a bone, you'd be somewhere where you couldn't get help. You'd be back to square one. I don't think I'm gonna fall. You didn't think you were gonna crash skiing either. I don't think that's very... Listen, you're the only one who knows the true extent of your injury. But if it wasn't for me, you'd be dead. Okay? Or at the very least, missing a leg. I'm the only one that knows the true extent. I have to say no to this. Do you understand? I'm sorry, I, I don't... Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Guess we won't go. Who are you gonna go with? I don't see how that's been... But let me remind you that I'm the one that saved your life. Okay, not Jake! Did you hear that? Hear what? Nothing. What's going on? <sighs> Dr. Vincent doesn't think I should go away for the weekend because I am still healing and therefore still at risk. Well, it's just out of town. I mean, you're gonna be with me anyway. Besides, you're probably safer there than you are here. Here, you're running up and down the stairs all day. I know, we just you know, hit against it. Well, he's being ridiculous. What's the point of getting released from the hospital if you gotta live your life in bubble wrap? Ah, oh, I don't... <sighs> Hold on a second. I have an idea. Be right back. <laughs> oh, okay. As well as it can be expected. Are you in pain? Oh, always, always in pain. Yeah, I did, but. Hey, Rosie, can I call you back? I just. Someone's at the door. Okay, talk to you later. Kevin, we can still go camping in the yard. You're out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> your castle awaits. What is this? <gasps> is that a pair of mattress? <laughs> <sighs> ah, biggest one they had in the store. Probably more comfortable than your own bed. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to find out. Okay. But first, s'mores. <gasps> I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't have good news. What do you mean? I mean, I know you're fond of Jake, but I don't like what I see. What? I think his methods are doing more harm than good. I don't understand. Your bones aren't healing the way they should. There's repetitive stress at the fracture site and the reconstructed joint. You're not healing properly. Okay. Jake's methods aren't helping. Physical therapy isn't like medicine. It's not specific that way, right? It's like the Wild West. And some practitioners use new, untested methods, and it ends up doing more harm than good. But you are the one that recommended Jake to me. I did. I was wrong, and I'm sorry. So I'm getting worse? No, no. You're not getting worse. You're just not healing the way you should.
Hello? Okay. Thank you. Bye. I'm sorry. I have to go. Okay. Um, thank sorry. you. It's okay. everything sorted? I'm sorry? <laughs> the other day, when you lost your bag? Oh, uh, yes. I did. Uh, thank you, Rosie. Yeah, you betcha, Doc. If you ever need me to draw you a map of this place, I know it by heart. I have no doubt. Mm. What was that all about? It's nothing. It's just more of her usual nonsense. Anything to worry about? Not anymore. How are you feeling? Hi, Farah. Oh, hey, Sarah. Hey. Word. Thank you. Mm. Are you holding up? Fine. Um, it'll all be over soon. You have got the best of the best working on you. Yeah, uh, speaking of which, how are you and Dr. Vincent? What do you mean? He just, he seems to show up wherever you are. All right, Rosalind. Rosie. Rosie, <laughs> it's time. Okay. See you soon, kiddo. I'll be right there. Rosalind? Hmm. Rosalind, can you hear me? Just breathe deeply, okay? Too bad you couldn't keep your mouth shut. say what happened? No, just that it was sudden. Gosh, it's awful. I, I don't know what to say. I think I'm just going to take some sleeping pills and lie down for a When you've been taking a lot of pain medication and putting more pills in your system isn't a good idea right Jake, now. Jake, I just lost someone. Can you go to the third degree right now? Yeah, I just don't think that it's... I just want to sleep for a bit, okay? Besides... You're the reason I'm taking all this medication in the first place. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? I spoke to Dr. Vincent today, and he showed me x-rays of my leg. And? He thinks that you're making the injury worse. What? That doesn't make any sense. And he also thinks that I should see a different physical therapist. That's ridiculous. I've been helping you since the beginning. You don't have to listen to him. Oh, come on, he's my doctor. He's not the only one that wants you to get better. I know that this is going to be hard to hear, but I think that um, it might be best for our relationship if I do see a different physical therapist. You're serious? I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. So am I. Jake. Jake, come on, please. Hey, hey get, a, get a second opinion. What? Go see another doctor, get a second opinion. Vincent is wrong on this. I guarantee that any other physical therapist would be doing the exact same thing that I'm doing. But Jake, I saw the x-rays. Yeah, I'm sure he'd show you all kinds of things if given the chance. What is that supposed to mean? Come on, sir, you don't see the way he looks at you? It's supposed to be very professional, and he's gone way too personal. If you need a recommendation, I can get that for you. Okay, look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. No, it's, you're right, it's fine. Jake, please don't be upset. You know what, I'm gonna go, okay? Because I think you have a new physical therapist to find. Jake, 
Jake. What can I get you? Uh, whiskey soda, please. Got it. Is that you?
Can you talk? Florence Nightingale effect? Really? I'm just telling you what he told me. What's up? Some of my paint bills. Everything okay? They're not the same. What do you mean? It's the same bottle. But the pain pills are different. I know one might be different because it's a generic brand or a higher dosage, but I don't really know. No, maybe I'll just have to ask Dr. Vincent when I see him next. Are you still gonna take him? I mean, I kind of have to. I'm in a lot of pain. I would advise against that. Maybe take ibuprofen until you can get it sorted out. You know what? You're right. Mine. You want an egg roll? Yeah. Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah, anything. Why did you come back the other night? I didn't come back. Okay. Come on, I saw you. I went to the roadhouse to get a drink, and then I watched the game, and... So you didn't come back? No. I saw somebody in my house, and now I have pain pills missing. I think you're being a little paranoid. No, well, wh where did everything go? I don't know, maybe you lost track. You've been taking a lot of those pills lately. Yeah, well, I'm taking a lot of pills when I'm in pain, and I'm in pain all the time. Okay, I'm sorry. It's fine. Gary gave me a refill today anyway. Okay, there it is. What? Where's oh, Gary now? Oh, come on, please don't start this. He's got a crush on you, Sarah. He does not. Yeah, he clearly does. That's why he's telling you to go to a new physical therapist. He's trying to eliminate the competition. That's why he's saying all that stuff about me. Jake, he is my doctor. He's just trying to help. And I'm just trying to protect you. You matter to me. We matter to me. Yeah, we matter to me too. And if it makes you feel better listening to Dr. Vincent and seeing a new physical therapist, that's fine. But don't give up on us. I know, I know, I'm rip, and now I'm learning to walk and falling in love. Like I said, I just wasn't planning any of this. I know. And I love you too. Jack and Ginger, please. Got it. You haven't even bought me a drink yet. I'm sorry? My name's Ginger. I was making a joke. What's your name? Is it Jack? Uh, who's it's Jake. May I please have a cranberry vodka, Carl? Yes, ma'am. What's the score? 24-20. Cool. Carl, take the usual. All right. All right. Good, 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 good. Go, 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 go. Nice. Nice. Good. Good. Yes! Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa, easy, sorry. All right, I'm out. I don't like the next time, I guess. Hey, Kenny, walk me to my car? Sure. <laughs>
problems? Nope. Sorry, I'm just, uh... Well, you were right about Jake. What do you mean? I, um... Yeah, I, I caught him cheating on me. Stay where you are. I'm gonna make a house call. Thank you. Yeah, I just... I feel so stupid. No, oh, I'm sorry. I tried to warn you. I can't say it's something I'm happy being right about. You did try to warn me, didn't you? You're a good man. You know, Sarah, you've been through a lot of trauma. I mean, you're vulnerable right now. Yeah, well, doesn't stop me from feeling miserable. Maybe you've just been looking for the wrong kind of guy. No, I actually think that, um, I think I gotta be alone for a while. I know exactly how that feels. Oh, oh my oh. god. Nope, nope, I got it. I got uh, it. Hold on. <laughs> so, anyway, so. I think you look great in that jacket every time I see you. I don't think you've seen me in it, have you? Maybe not. Yeah. My mistake? <laughs> look, you look good in nearly everything. You know what? I actually have to head out. I. Ooh. I have to meet up with Jake to end it, so. Be strong. If you need me, call me for anything. Okay, I'll try, thank you. Hey, uh, Sarah, how are you doing on your meds? Do you need any more? No. I think I'm all set there. Look, I don't understand. I thought everything was going great. Yeah. I did too. Until you cheated on me. What are you talking about? How do you explain this? Where'd you get that? Does it even matter? That was some woman at a bar. She kissed me and I shot her down. <sighs> what does that even mean? I was watching the basketball game at Roadhouse. She kissed me. I didn't kiss her back. Okay, I told her I wasn't interested. I don't even know who she is. Oh, well, it looks like you know her pretty well. Sarah, I am not cheating on you. Jake, just put yourself in my shoes. What does this look like to you? I don't know. I don't know who those people are. I don't even know how you got that photo. Oh, my gosh. You could have at least come up with a more convincing story. How can I come up with a more convincing story other than the truth? And I'm telling you the truth. It's... Sarah. Oh, come... Sarah, come on. <sighs> Get away with anything, don't you? Said the cheater. You set me up. Oh, I'd be careful making those accusations if I were you. You stay away from Sarah. You understand me? Or you'll do what, Jake? Don't test me, Gary. You won't like it. Is that some kind of threat? Damn right it is.
Here it is. Thank you. What do you need it for? Well, she was a patient of mine as well. I just need to make sure that my therapy didn't contribute to her death. No, it says here, failed bypass. Thanks. So can I ask you what happened? Jake, I know it's rough, but it's not the first time someone's died on the table. And we all liked her, but sometimes it happens. I know. Dr. Vincent's a great doctor, but he can't save them all. Yeah, you're right, but she was close to Sarah. I know. I'm sorry. They said something about complications during surgery due to anesthetic. That doesn't sound right. Dr. Vincent's the best we have. He wouldn't have made some rook chart. She went into an anaphylactic shock. Wait, it wasn't in her chart. The woman's had a handful of surgeries. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna look into it. Thanks, Paige. Paige! Was Jake asking about Sarah Crenshaw? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, he was asking about Rosalind Golding. What was he asking about her? Just how she died. What did you tell him? She went into anaphylactic shock due to anesthesia. It does seem odd, doesn't it? That we missed that somehow. Considering her medical history... Hey, I don't miss anything. Is that clear? I didn't mean to imply anything. I would hope not. attention to the Kenzie account for a couple days. Well, I don't know how you managed to pull it off, but the new website looks excellent. Thank you. There's gonna be a lot more where that came from. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a lot of extra time from now on. Consider me back in the office Monday. Not if it's gonna hurt you. You're doing fine as is. Oh, wait, Steven, hold on, I have an include hole. Never mind. Okay. Are you sure you don't need more time away from the office? Yeah, don't worry about it. I'd rather be there than sitting here reliving the past six weeks. If you're sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Hi, this is Sarah. Can't get to the phone right now, but leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Sarah, it's me. I know you're not talking to me right now, but I found out everything about that photo. Please call me. Dr. Vincent set me up. Please, call me. <laughs> she isn't meant to be with you, Jake. This is she. Yeah, um, Jake Drummond, uh-huh. Mm, no, no, um, that, uh, that doesn't make any sense because I was just with him. Um, <laughs> no, that, uh, I don't, no. Ha, ha, ha. 
I'm sorry. I came as soon as I heard the news about Jake. You okay? Doctor. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I mean, I know we had our differences, but he was a good guy. He didn't deserve to die like that. What happened? Were you there? No, no, no. I only heard. I came here as soon as I was told. I, it was an accident? I guess he was trying to lift too much weight. I don't really understand how that could have happened. Can I come in? Yeah. Do you want any coffee or anything? Oh, no, no. I'm fine. At least don't make me drink alone. I don't think this is such a good idea, considering uh, your condition. I think I'm allowed one glass, given the circumstances. Give me for a second. Please. You know, you shouldn't be drinking while taking these meds. I know. It's doctor's orders. Okay. I'll take it easy. Hey. Thank you so much for being here, Gary. What are you doing? I, um... I'm here for you. Sarah, I've always been here for you. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, uh, it's very sudden. I don't feel very good. The painkillers and that wine. I knew this was going to happen. Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, you're right. I just, I think I need a minute. You'll be okay. Let me get you some water. Hold on. Could you actually get me a pillow for under my leg? Of course. Thank you, Gary. What is this? Sarah, I can, I can explain this. Just give how me a... long have you been following me? Well, I'm your doctor. You call this being my doctor? <laughs> Look, I know how this must. Look. This looks crazy. That's exactly how this looks. Sarah, I'm not crazy. I love you. What? Well, you heard me. I am in love with you. I've loved you from the very beginning. I have not once given you a signal that I was even interested in you. And these, oh my God, these photos. I gave you everything. I gave you your life. You need to leave. I need to leave. You owe me. I owe you everything. It's growing because of you. You deserve Jake. It wasn't right for you. I did what I had to do to protect your feelings. Don't... He left me no choice. You are insane. This is insane. No, no, no. Sarah, Sarah, you gotta be with me. I 
I didn't want it to be like this, Sarah. I wanted us to be happy. I still want us to be happy. You're beautiful and perfect and special. I saw that from the very beginning. Jake and Rosalind, they, they didn't deserve you. You did it. You did it. I did what I had to do to protect us. I couldn't let anybody get in between us. I, I had to kill them. Feeling woozy, Doc? Maybe it's because your wine was loaded up with those pain pills that you were trying to feed me. You know, I was always wondering why those didn't really seem to work. It's because you were giving me a weaker dosage because you needed to keep me sick because you needed me to depend on you. I had to do that. <sighs> that wasn't very nice, Sarah. Now let's just stay calm and talk this through. Get away from me! Oh. there with you every day since they brought your nearly dead body to me. I made sure you were safe. I made sure that you were healthy. I saw the light in your eyes and I saved you. I'm the one who deserves you. You gave yourself to him, and that's why Jake had to die. Somebody call the police! Somebody! Somebody call the police! He's trying to kill me! She refractured her left leg, falling down a set of stairs. What about you? What happened to your face? Nothing. Don't worry about me. She shattered her femur. There's no distal pulse. She's fractured her leg. Unfortunately, she had a nasty fall, and it wasn't completely healed. So we're going to have to amputate. What's going on? 
What happened to your face? This isn't about me, okay? <laughs> God damn it, Randolph, would you put her under? She doesn't want to comply, Doctor. Do your job, nurse. Would somebody please hold her down? Oh. I, 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 would you help me? I am trying to save her. Hold her down. Can somebody hold her down, please? She's cut the anesthetic line. Give me that. Oh, my hand! My hand! Get away from her. I'm in charge here. Get out of my way. Gary, for the last time, what are you doing? He killed Jake. He killed Ross. No, I... She's my patient. Do you guys get it? I saved her life. And she's mine. She owes me. I did what I had to do to protect us. I couldn't let anybody get in between us. I... Jake had cameras everywhere. It'll show you what happened. Nurse, we need a code white right now. Gary, Attention. I'm asking code you to drop the scissors Attention. and step away. Do you hear me? 